Good morning and welcome to Rational Thinking. My name is Joshua and this week we will be covering the UK employment figures, the Italian political situation and also the US interest rate situation, all as of last week. So to start off with the pound for last week, um, following all the doom and gloom of Brexit, we actually had really strong unemployment figures and wage growth figures for the UK. In addition to this, we had year-on-year -year inflation um, come in at 2.1%, which is slightly above the Bank of England's growth forecast. All of this is massively positive news. However, 30-year uh, bond yields for uh, UK Treasury notes um, fell below the 1% yield curve for the first time since records began. Uh, this is seen uh, and has been interpreted as a massively negative factor being one very strong and very key indicator to a potential recession. So in regards to the euro, uh, we saw a bit of a fallout from the Italian political situation. Uh, as it stands, we have a coalition between the League and the Five Star Party, uh, of which the Five Star are the anti-European party. Uh, Matteo Salvini has actually tried to force a motion of no confidence, citing the um, partnership as unworkable. Um, he's trying to use the unpopularity between the two parties to force through a majority uh, in his favour, from which he's going to then try and push forward a, uh, a Brexit-style um, anti-European campaign to take Italy out of the Eurozone. Now, although this is on, on face value, again, negative for uh, Europe uh, and Italy, potentially. It could work in favour for the UK in terms of trying to get a deal, but also, more importantly, signifies the far-right shift in politics in recent years spreading throughout the world and, for us, more importantly, throughout Europe. So moving on to the US dollar, we actually had some really important data out for the greenback. Um, we had US inflation uh, rising unexpectedly, uh, and we also had some good um, headway for the US and China trade negotiations. But most importantly, we had the US Treasury yield curve invert for the first time since 2007. Now, this initially saw a massive push towards safe haven currencies across the board. But ultimately, why this is so important is because it is almost a dead cert or it very strongly signifies a potential recession imminently. So looking to data uh, for this week, um, we've got a very quiet week across the board um, in the way that there's not much out for the UK. Uh, the main talking points this week will be around both the Euro and the US dollar. For the Euro, we've got uh, services and manufacturing PMI figures for both France and Germany. Now being the two biggest economies in the Eurozone, um, that's going to be very closely watched to see if there's any reciprocal effects to uh, the Eurozone um, off the back of Brexit as there have been to the UK. Um, also, we have the uh, Jackson Hole Summit for the US. Again, that's going to be very, very keen to watch, especially as we had the inversion of the yield curve last week as to what forward guidance we would be looking at for potential cuts of interest rates. And not only that, to see if we would have any further stimulus uh, in the way of quantitative easing. And that's all for me. As always, thank you for joining us and please do like, share the video. Um, if you have any questions or queries, please feel free to reach out to us on the email provided and we look forward to you joining us next week.